I'm also from uh, Quebec, Canada. I represent the CIFE, which is the French uh, acronym for uh, Secretariat International Francophone for l'Evaluation Environmental. So it's, a, it's an organization quite similar to the big IAIA. And our members are uh, institutional members, academics, uh, corporate, uh, national, or regional members. So we have a lot of African uh, national association as a member of the CIFE. So CIFE was a long time member of IAIA. But we, throughout the years, split up because we were busy doing our own uh, activities and they were quite similar to the one from uh, IEIA. So we are based in Montreal, uh, Quebec. We have about uh, 100 members, uh, 20 countries are represented. We, uh, we do an annual conference uh, here every year. This year it will be in uh, Cameroon uh, about uh, forest climate change and uh, EIA. So it's the International uh, Forestry Year. Um, so each year we have a conference and a summer school as well, where during a week we focus with 30 <coughs> students coming from African countries. We focus on uh, specific issues uh, regarding EI. Um, so it's been going on for about 20 years now, uh, this uh, association. And we will come back to join uh, IAIA soon. I think IAIA, for, especially specifically for our African uh, members, it's a link to the English-speaking world. And in Africa, they are not, the link between the countries are not easy to do. And the, the access to the information is not easy as well. So uh, to be a member of IAIA is a way to uh, link our members to another uh, dimension, another world. Uh, so uh, we will be there with you. I like the idea of putting each other websites on our own website uh, in order to, well, uh, let our members know that they have something else uh, that exists. So um, I think uh, we, we also have uh, uh, specific workshops every year. So we are quite, quite active. Uh, mainly in, in Africa, but we have a European member, and uh, RQAE in Quebec, for instance, is a member of the CIFE as well. So it's a network of French-speaking EIA uh, practitioners, government, uh, and academic. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any other presentation, maybe? If it's a comment, we will be afterwards we we'll have a discussion. Okay. Yes, very, very, very briefly. I think uh, the issue that has been mostly uh, repeated by you was the fact of costs. Uh, the cost of the annual fees, how can we uh, get a, a solution in order not to, to um, the annual fees of the affiliates shouldn't be more expensive than those of those countries that have not affiliates. Also, talking about networking, EIA and affiliates, not only between EIA members or affiliate members, but also between EIA and affiliates, and between affiliates and EIA. How can the IAIA help affiliates? More participation of IAIA in local events, more support needed for the affiliates from IAIA headquarters or board of directors or specialists, networking between affiliates, maybe the idea of linking each uh, affiliate web, uh, the idea of helping each affiliate uh, each other, what you said about AAPI helping Mozambique Association to, to get started, also the access to IAIA strategic sponsorships, let affiliates participate in IAIA decisions. We need also an IAIA better balance geographically. And there is an issue that I was thinking about when I heard you all, and we are talking about how um, make it easier for the members of the affiliates become IAIA members. And I should ask, uh, why don't we make it easier for IAIA members become affiliate members also? There are a lot of Spanish members of IAIA that are not Spanish affiliate members. We should study that issue also. Okay, if you have anything to say, any other question, any answer, any other comment? Thank you.
to, uh, John Hebert made a point about uh, Africa, the language barrier in Africa, that's, that makes it difficult for, uh, especially the uh, Francophone African countries to be members of I have, I've had a unique experience. I'm, I come from Ghana when we speak English, but I've worked for the regional grouping, and so I work in many of the countries that speak French, and nobody seems to know anything about I. Uh, a few knew about uh, Sive, and uh, they didn't know any connection between Sive and II. So, it, it just you know, uh, strengthen your point that II could you know, link up with Sive and also get the, especially the Francophone West Africa, or other uh, uh, the, the Francophone African countries to be uh, active members of II so we can have a, a larger and One of the weak, I don't know if it's a weakness or, but uh, if you compare the membership of, uh, of our association in Quebec, it's almost like 40% are consultants, okay, and uh, uh, are coming from the private sector and in industry as well. And it's, it's only my second year that, I, that I'm coming in the IIA conference, and I, I don't, uh, and we don't see a lot of consultants here because there's no industry. We don't see the, the big mining companies, the big oil and gas companies, they're not there. And for me as a consultant, the only reason why I'm here is because the, my association is paying half of my fees. And <laughs> because I'm a consultant and my, my employer is paying the other half of the fee. Because, uh, and I was trying to convince them to send me here and the first question came to, to their mind is, okay, who's going to be the clients you're going to meet to make business? Okay, so, and, and I think that's, that's, that's something that IIA should look at. It, you probably do, and I know it's hard to bring the industry in those kind of, uh, of forum, but we need to find a way that to tell them that if you understand the process, if you understand the practitioners, what they do, uh, you, you can influence it, and you, can, you, can, you should be involved in our discussion. <laughs> and, and if we do that, if we, we, we bring the big players here, I'm sure you're gonna attract the consultants then the president will be happy to have 2,000 members. I was within reach, so I um, uh, One other addition then that I would make to the you know, humble requests in the presentation I made, based on your last comments, you know, how can we get IAI members into affiliates as well, is, uh, would it be technically difficult to get a list of which IAI members are within the regions of each affiliate? Because that in itself, just getting a good email list, should be easy for IAI and very valuable for the affiliates. Um, it's just a question of playing with the, the data you have. As well, and I, I guess I have to look to Rita because she's been able to answer every question I've had about IAI. Um, do you think it would be, do you think, uh, how, how difficult do you think it would be to get, for example, affiliate members access to the website for their first year of being members, and then, you know, like on a trial basis so they can test the waters of joining big IAIA? Is that something you think the organization would be receptive towards, or do you think they do that as giving it out for free, or, because uh, access to the journal is something that I've heard from a few groups out there. Well, access to the journal is and always has been a benefit of affiliate members. The problem is communication, and I'll, I'll put the blame on our office for not continually um, putting that out in the newsletter or whatever. It's simple. Every affiliate has an ID number, just like every individual member has an ID number. Um, but the affiliate then needs to distribute that ID number and whatever password you know, it's going to be associated with that to all of the members, and we would have got it. That's, that's great because it means I can pretend we didn't already have it and chalk it up as a victory. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that's, no, I mean, that's, that's great, but I think that, that uh, if, if, if I'm a common specimen, uh, I guess the affiliates could use a reminder that, that that exists because it's important and I didn't know about it, and I've been president for way too long. And, uh, uh, so, I mean, that, it sounds like there's some, some room to, to move there. I'll give the microphone back, but thank you for that.